Make no mistake, I said that I was not going to do an iPhone 11 review, but I never once said that I was not going to buy one. I'm not going to be doing any iPhone 11 reviews anywhere in the near future because within that first hour that they came out, there were like 20 of them, and I'm not one of those that jump on board. And not to mention the fact I don't have one, and I'm not jealous at all. So, that comment fed my audience and my family. I wasn't even that anxious to get one. Bullshit. <laughs> I had to go to the big city of Dothan, Alabama to have a part repaired that could be fixed within a couple of hours, so I had a lot of time to kill. I drove around and some force just accidentally pulled me into the parking lot of Best Buy. It was about to open any moment, so I just waited for a short time and then meandered around once it did. The phone rep was really creepy and kept staring at me, and since she didn't have any customers, I confronted her. She told me she could sense that I was missing something. So I really felt like we already had somewhat of a connection, like a fatherly-daughterly connection. Is daughterly a word? Hmm, who knows? She told me I needed a new phone and somehow got my information like a crafty little wizard and you're a found naughty a wizard. Upgrade. She then told me to call my wife and tell her the good news. You think this is strange so far? Well, <laughs> my wife told me that our daughter's phone wouldn't fully charge to 100%, but to only 99%, and it needed to be replaced. So I absolutely agreed wholeheartedly. My wife told me to say the words, I want the new iPhone 11. I really wasn't sure what she was laughing about when she said so, <laughs> so I refused because I'm in charge. <laughs> uh, so I hung up and told the lady to go ahead with the upgrade. Now, this not being planned, she asked me which phone I wanted. As not to sound stupid, I just quickly threw out there the iPhone 11 Max Base Gray with 256 gigabytes. I didn't know what I was talking about, but something took over my mouth and spoke for me. Uh, it was surprising to me that she actually had that phone, but not in store, so it would have to be delivered to my home in a couple of days. No big deal, right? Well, two days had passed, so I got up and reset my phone and gave it to my daughter because that's what dads do. <laughs> the afternoon hours came and the usual delivery truck didn't stop. So I checked my email to find it got delayed and wouldn't be here for another four days. Okay, that was fine. I was fine without a phone for that long. So when I finally got my new phone, I decided to test the video and implement it into my video making process. So I guess it's time to let you know that the main camera for the video was actually shot with the iPhone 11 Pro Max. The only problem I see now is I have to control yet one more device. Being a one man show has presented many challenges, especially making this video, and I now have to remember to properly set up my main camera my secondary camera, my lighting, my sound, my teleprompter, and just make sure everything is recording at the same time. I also have to spend a lot of time making sure that I control all of these people that are controlling these cameras and lighting and so on and so forth, such as my cameraman who does his own thing sometimes and I have to sometimes just set, set him straight and put him on the right path. Makeup decides to leave the room Makeup. whenever they feel like and that actually Come becomes on. a little annoying and I keep having to chase them down. The director is a very demanding individual and I would prefer not to work with him but this is only temporary. Seeking all of this in post is yet another challenge, but any one of these things can ruin the entire process and cause the editor to have to make different choices when filling in gaps in the video. Things like power fluctuations, unexpected sounds like cars, doors, 
cabinet doors, people, animals, bug trucks can throw off the entire thing. So, being that this is not an iPhone 11 review, let me know what you think in the comments down below uh, about my color quality and the video quality and the production itself and what you think I can do to improve it. But I do want to share with you the fact that you can also use your phone to make a good quality video and share that with your audience. All you need is the proper lighting, window lighting. I've got a little bit more lighting than the beginner would and I'm slowly building up what I have. But you can start with just that key light window and use your cell phone and you can make some really good stuff. Just make sure that you're telling your story and your content is good. So get out there and create and share your thoughts and enjoy telling stories. So if you like the video, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and if you didn't, hit the dislike button twice. And I'll see all of you in the next video. We are right, good. What about second cameraman? We good? We good lighting. Good? Alright. <laughs> you like that, do you? Props! <laughs> and that's recording. This is recording. Abby, can you lick one more time on the slap taste out of your mouth? You don't just lick your fat. How's that? Like that?